Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Adam and Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Fascinations overnight last night have posted three new things to their coming soon page on the metal, both MetalEarthAndFascinations.com. One of these models, they're all three Iconics, one of them we've known about in the works for quite some time. We've seen pictures a while back at a toy fair. We've seen more pictures here recently where they've changed the coloring of it. And now it's official. Coming soon is the Iconics Imperial Star Destroyer ICX-130. We now know that it is two and a half sheets. And, well, we already knew it was in color. It may not look quite like it's in color in this picture, but according to the close-up pictures that we saw fairly recently in a few videos back, it does have some color painted on there. But it, it is kind of subtle, which really gives it a good look. The other two things are completely a surprise. There is an Iconics X-Wing fighter coming out. That is the ICX-132, also in color. They actually give the dimensions for this one, which is 4.57 in length, 5.13 in width, and 2.13 in height. I'm assuming that's in inches, which is a decent size model. I mean, almost like four and a half inches long, so it's not huge, but fairly decent. And then we have the Iconics R2-D2, so not a Mega. I know a lot of people were waiting for the Mega to officially release. It is the ICX-131. It is two sheets. It is 2.88 inches high, or long, 2.17 wide, and 3.74 high, so almost four inches tall. So that's, that's not too bad. And from the looks of that, it kind of looks like it might actually have a little bit of detail that the Mega doesn't have. It's in color, which the Mega was not. So it might actually be a neater looking model than any of the ones before. Then again, there's the Disney one is in color. There are a couple other ones, but this will be a decent size one in color. So yeah, it's, it's, it looks to be really nice. And another thing, going back to the X-Wing, the cockpit, I did notice this was a concern of mine. The cockpit does seem to be one solid piece and it just kind of has like frosted over glass. You can't see in it. You know, the original X-Wing, one of the first model Star Wars models that came out with, the cockpit was just, it had the framework there, but the windows were just open, which made it almost impossible, if not impossible, to properly fold the sides because that thin metal, you just really couldn't get it to, to, to bend unless you had some really specialized tools. I think, I remember when the Poe Dameron came out, a lot of people were pleased that the canopy was one solid piece because it folds a lot better that way. So I am pleased with that personally. Now moving on from that, Peace Cool doesn't really have anything new coming out according to their website. However, the Princess Jasmine model, which was showed up along with two other models on their website, the other two models came out last week sometime or a couple weeks ago. The Princess Jasmine model is finally out. I found it on one AliExpress store. There's of course a link in the description to that if you're looking to buy that yourself. But uh, Jasmine was a little bit delayed. And the Jasmine is a model that has a music box in the bottom of it. So that's a neat new thing that the uh, 3D metal model makers are starting to do. Speaking of which, Micro World has apparently followed this new trend and put out several music box models of their own. I have not been able to find any of them on AliExpress. However, Trium Specialty Products out of Canada does have them. So for those of, of us in, the, in Canada or the U.S., we don't have to wait. They will come fairly quickly because they're already in stock. It looks like they have 10 different models and they all have music boxes in the bottom. There's Building a Love Nest, Dinosaur Park, Winter Snow Scene, Romantic Love, Space City, Fun Paradise, Forest Rhapsody, Beauty and the Beast, Dance King, and Castle. Now it appears that all of these models have a wind-up music box in, I'm guessing the bottom of them, but in the kit. I do not know specifically what all songs are available. I can't find any information about the song on the website. If they have different songs, if they all have the same song. However, there, there was a Facebook group where someone had built one of these models. I think it was the Beauty and the Beast model. And they played a short bit of it. And the music that it was playing appears to be Beethoven's Furities. I think that's how you say it. So I don't know if they're all going to have that same tone. I know people were disappointed they didn't have something from Beauty and the Beast, but they probably couldn't get to that. I, I don't really know if they all play the same thing, if they have different ones, if it's a random selection. 
but they also have apparently lights that light up as well and according to the description they have a remote control so you can turn the lights not only turn the lights on and off but change the color via remote control so that's a very interesting thing that they're doing there so you've got a, a model you build that sits on top of a wind up uh, music box that has lights that you can turn on and off and change color very interesting and they have 10 different ones available now, looking around on AliExpress, I do find a couple of new things from MU, and I've also seen these pop up in a couple of other areas of social media as well. It looks like the M MU has decided to make a couple of tanks, a bit of a departure from the Transformers, which they do more than just make Transformers, but the Transformers models have been very big here lately. They've got the Tiger Tank model, which is in color, very subdued, graying, grayish, greenish colors, and they also have a Chieftain, Chieftain or Chieftain MK6. The Tiger Tank is four sheets, 224 pieces. It is in color. The finished model sized, and this is in, I believe, centimeters, 15 by 6 by 5.5, and which translates to 5.8 by 2.4 by 2.2 inches. And we have the Chieftain, which has four sheets as well, 168 pieces is in color and the finished model size in centimeters 14.5 by 5.5 by 4.2 or in inches 5.7 by 2.2 by 1.7 and it appears that both of these models are around 27 us dollars each we've certainly seen the tiger tank before not just with metal earth but with a lot of different copycats but i don't know i'm not saying there isn't one but i haven't seen a chieftain tank before that would make the mu tiger tank a bit bigger than the fascinations the fascinations tiger tank is a simple size 2.85 by 1.76 by 1.17 and again the tiger one tank from mu is 5.8 by 2.4 by 2.8 too, so that would be a bit bigger than the Fascinations or Metal Earth models. Going back to the music boxes from Microworld, according to a builder on Facebook, for the lights, you are going to need three AAA batteries to power them. And that's what I've got to do for this week's 3D Metal Model News, so that leads us to this week's question of the week and I've seen lately from other builders out there from different social medias a little bit of talk about people getting a little tired of maybe the Star Wars models getting a little tired of the Transformers models and I've noticed a few people who have commented that they in more than one place they are kind of missing some of the architectural and historical type models that fascination seemed to have kind of gotten away from the architectural models and there are a few people that are missing it so the question this week is more or less, do you feel the same way? Are there some models that Fascinations have kind of gotten away from, like doing a lot of architectural models, that you wish they would do more of? Are you one of the ones that's getting tired of the sci-fi and the comic book stuff and the Transformers stuff and the Star Wars stuff? I, I feel like there's always going to be people out there that are into the Star Wars and the Transformers. I, I feel that way because I'm one of those people that never seems to get tired of it, but I completely understand and respect that there are people that are just not as interested as I am. So are you one of those people? Are you missing the, the, the architectural models? Are you missing some of the things that they used to do that they don't do anymore? Do you wish maybe they would do more tanks or more of the bugs or insects? Or do you wish they would do more historical landmark and, and building and things like, things like that? Leave your answer and your opinions in the comments down below and I will read from them next week. I'll leave it at that. As always, I do want to thank everyone for watching and always thank my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel, allowing me the freedom to bring you this news as well as build videos and review videos. If you enjoy these videos, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. There's links in the description down below and at the very end of this video. And there's also a link for Ko-Fi. If you enjoy a particular video, you can always just leave a tip for that video. It is always appreciated. As always, thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.